Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Uh, Christmas morning. Merry Christmas to you. You can see we did get some snow last night. And I better shut that door. Got the coffee making. <laughs> Take a little trip through. Got the goodie table. <laughs> One Christmas tree. Two Christmas trees. Got the stockings. <laughs> the third Christmas tree. And let's go into the room here. Well, hopefully you're ready for the day, whatever it holds for you. Um, <laughs> maybe you have little kids. Maybe you have grandkids that are going to be coming over. You're going to get to spend time with them. Maybe it's just going to be you and your family, uh, immediate family. It will be as far as I know. Uh, me and Teresa, our daughter here, our grandkids <laughs> were supposed to uh, call us, and they will. Our son-in-law will call when those kids wake up i figured uh, here we are a little after seven in the morning i figured uh, they would be awake about three uh, they said that they wanted to uh, go to bed about seven so santa could come early and they could be up but when they wake up they are supposed to um, get their gifts get ready to open and then he's going to set the computer up and we're going to be able to see them. I've set it up so I can screen from my phone to our big screen TV. So we should be able to watch them on our big screen television open their gifts. I was thinking this morning, and that's just the two there. And we'll get to see pictures and, and videos of uh, our other little granddaughter, Addie, which they live pretty close together. But we'll get to see pictures of her uh, as well. I was thinking uh, this morning, I've been up and down all night, <laughs> not waiting for Santa, uh, but up and down all night just thinking about different things. And I thought, you know, there's a scripture in the, in the word in the book of John that says that Satan has come to kill, steal, and to destroy. And I think this time of year, there are so many people that miss someone that they've loved that that is not here and you know as well as I do that there are people that you are closer to parents grandparents children um, than you are maybe cousins or whatever and it, do it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt when you lose uh, a relative that's not as close but um, if you're not careful we allow Satan to to steal those that are left behind away from us as well because we grieve so much over the ones that are gone and that's a lesson that it took me a while to learn, and, and I pray that I have learned it, um, that I may be grieving a person that was close to me and in that process lose someone else uh, that I need to, to show how much I love them. So I will say to all of my family and my friends, I love you this morning uh, for those that are close, for those that are far away. I love you, and I pray that uh, you have a great Merry Christmas. Let me read to you uh, something that no doubt you've uh, heard uh, maybe already this year more than once. But I'm going to read this to you, and then uh, we'll have a prayer. Chapter 2 of the book of Luke. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. 
and all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign with you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from the shepherds, um, were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. We read that every year. One time a year that we go through this period where we uh, remember of the birth of Christ. Um, some folks uh, put more emphasis on other things. Um, and this is this has got to be one of my favorite times of year. I know that there are some people that don't like it and aren't fond of it. it you can't, it's very difficult not to like it when you see the excitement on the face of children. Uh, and even doing what I do when I am able to go into rest homes and to facilities where um, folks sometimes feel abandoned and it's Christmas time and you give them as much as a candy cane or something and their eyes just light up. But the greatest gift that, that was ever given wasn't a candy cane, it wasn't a new bicycle, it wasn't a new BB gun, it wasn't a new baby doll. Now, I remember my dad and my grandmother, uh, my grandmother Gert Vastine Gertrude. She used to call every year, and she'd make her rounds, calling her children, her four kids. And when she would call my dad, and she would ask him what he got, and he said, "Well, I I got a watch again this year." She said, "You did?" He said, "Yeah, I got to watch George open his gifts. I got to watch Petey open his gifts, and Bobby open." <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it. it the greatest gift is better than even a watch, right? Uh, it is Jesus Christ. And my prayer is, is that uh, you can rest in the comfort of knowing that no matter who it is um, that is not here this year, that was here last year, God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, so we could be reunited one day in heaven. He knew the pain of losing the person closest to him. He sent his son so we could be reunited and never feel that pain again. Merry Christmas to you folks. Um, I hope you have a, a great prosperous new year. I hope things are better for you if you need them to be. Uh, some of you do, uh, but I pray that you enjoy the time you have with the folks you love while they are here. Um, let them know. Uh, Mama, um, it's good to see you yesterday. Thank you for the cookies, the fudge, 
is still here. The cookies are gone <laughs> already. Um, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, I love y'all. God bless.